<laughs> we are live. Food Court, the movie podcast, and Twitch stream where Sean and Michael watch shit, talk shit, and most importantly, eat shit. We are the law. We are the law. Welcome back, Michael. Thank Welcome you. back, me. I feel great. Um, it was a <laughs> dark time indeed because for a whole week I was not here, but I oh. I am back, ready to talk about. I'll say it early in case we forget. Please, Army of the Dead. Yes. The Snyder cut of <laughs> Army of the Dead, the new Zack Snyder yes. uh, zombie movie. Well, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say we watched the Snyder cut this week, but then I was like, is it though? Is there gonna be another one of these? It's like twelve uh, hours long. God. <laughs> I think it's already 12 hours yeah. long. We don't want to get into the... To the, the we don't want to start with low mains. This no, early you're right. Thing. First, we have to talk about something important, <gasps> uh, but we need the theme song. Would you uh, give us the Pan Express theme song? Yes. We're hopping aboard. We're hopping aboard. We're hopping aboard. The Panda Express. Do, do, do. To what movies we watch this week. <laughs> well, that actually is really thank you for um mm -hmm. playing hitting the playback button on that. Yep. <laughs> uh, the pre-recorded theme song. That's right. And uh I this week watched the wait, what is it called? I want to get the Ooh. name right. The Personal History of David Copperfield directed by Ar Armando Yanucci, written by him, starring <laughs> A bunch of people, all you know, all those British people, all people, <laughs> you know, all sorts of British people, and mm -hmm. they're they're. I didn't even know this, but there are there are non-white British people, and every what? there's every kind of British person, every skin color of British person in this movie, right, right, and it's wonderful. <laughs> That's it great. Was just a such a wonderful mm -hmm. time, uh, especially I. I mean, I have followed Inuchi's oof. <laughs> Ooh. I've watched In the Loop. I've watched all the old TV shows, mm -hmm. all the Alan Partridges. <laughs> yes. I love The Death of Stalin. <gasps> and this, while being kind of acerbic and uh -huh. a little dry and a little <laughs> silly, is uplifting in a Ooh. way that none of his shit is. <laughs> yeah. Almost everything else is like, I mean, fucking Death of Stalin is as brutal yeah as a movie can get that movie is rough and this one i was like well every every movie right now is like this is just the movie we need yeah <laughs> we're having a real rough time we need a movie just like this but yeah. this actually is that movie <laughs> that's great this legitimately i watched it and even though there were sad parts it just made me feel great yes i, I finished watching it and i was like wow i'm so glad i watched that it made my day brighter i feel great so if you want to stop feeling miserable for two <laughs> hours and then it'll turn right back on afterwards, you'll feel bad again. But while you're watching the movie in within that space, you will feel great. Yeah. Check out personal history of David Copperfield. I uh, think it's still on HBO max. Oh God. I hope it is. Oh, if it's man. not, I apologize. I, you were talking about it and I was like, well, I don't even know what that is, but now that you've just talked about it again, um, Mm -hmm. I'm I'm convinced I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you watch I, anything wonderful this week? No, you know what's tough. I only got to watch the movie for the uh, for the podcast, but oh. I I've been so busy with work that I haven't had time to do much movies lately. Just it's just like no time except for the one movie. <laughs> Get one no movie, time Michael. To lose. <laughs> no time. You've got to just watch this one. Mo well, shit. We better talk about it. <laughs> yeah. We watched Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Yes, we. I'll did. do the plot. It's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a zombie outbreak. It's a zombie movie, so it had. They just had went through all the cliches. Yeah. Didn't even spare one cliche. They just said, "Well, why write a script when we can, <laughs> when people have already written scripts before?" <laughs> And uh, they use them all. There's an escaped something from the oh, man. from the zombie factory or some shit. Something like, like that. in every zombie movie. There's a the zombie factory breaks open, and there's a zombie out there. Yeah, gotta and be. He makes more zombies, mm -hmm. and then they put a wall around uh, uh, Las Vegas. Yes, they do. And and it's full of zombies. <laughs> and then there's a heist, and they go. There's a Japanese guy. It's a scorpion. Yeah. And he's like, you must get us 
the two hundred million dollars because we already got the insurance money. So I just want some free money. Mm-hmm. And and he gets a Cracker Jack crew of <laughs> like one and a half races. <laughs> Um, like a kind of like some Hispanic people mm-hmm. and uh, kind of a I don't even know what Batista is. Just ah, he's like so no big and strong that he uh, like defies race. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's just a tan uh, blob. I thought he was green, but he apparently yeah. isn't. <laughs> he used to be bluish. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they go in and they do a heist, and, and it does not work out very well. Mm-hmm. The end. <laughs> the end. That's all that happens. Yeah. Zon- I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff that happens, but that's the main stuff that happens. I will say it is. It, it would be hard to define the genre of this because you immediately see it. Army of the Dead. Is this a war picture? Is yes. this a zombie film? Is this a heist movie? Yes. I don't know. Is this about a father reconnecting with his daughter? I can't couldn't tell. Is you. this a movie at all? Yeah. Is this a, uh, some some might wonder. Is this a video game? Yeah. I wor- yeah. I would. I would wager that it there will be one. If oh within yeah, within a month or so, <laughs> they could. Just, I'm surprised they didn't do it yet. Yeah. It would have been a good uh, co-release. Like, here's yeah. the game. You've seen the movie. Now play it. <laughs> Hey, do you you want to be um the the black guy who is a uh, ma- who has a master's degree in philosophy? He holds up a he holds up a sign early on that says master's degree in philosophy. So when he does one weird speech later, you can go, ah, oh, this oh. I guess he's just a well, you know that's that's just the master's degree of philosophy thing, yeah. and you, you don't even get it. That's what I say when that scene yeah. comes on. <laughs> oh, this I, must I just, be. I just have my shirt that says it's a master's degree in philosophy thing. You wouldn't get yeah, it. You... And I show, I go, that's me. That's it's a me. master's degree in philosophy thing. You wouldn't, wouldn't get, get it. it. Yeah. Um, Ooh, <laughs> I was yes. thinking even more. This is a little risky, but he say can it. do it. Master's degree <laughs> in philosophy. Blacks only. That would Blacks be a only. Good twist on things. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Like went that. to Morehouse or um, what are the other ones? Brown? What's the other big one? Brown. I don't, <laughs> yeah, think, that's I just, a, I don't I, think that's one. I just said that because you know, yeah, you know, it seems this, like it should yeah. be. Maybe they need to segregate Brown yeah, University. Please. No, <laughs> only brown people. Only brown. That would be the new name for the university in my world this is all about what i want right wow now. <laughs> that's beautiful only brown mm-hmm. hey welcome to only brown university um oh, yeah. i happen to notice that you are not brown <laughs> you're a little tan but not uh, what i would consider brown whoa so get out yeah get the F out of here i thought i wasn't thinking you were talking in the context of like some kind of bit i thought you were saying to me i wouldn't consider you brown. i was like now that's an intro i haven't heard that one before i don't michael i don't think of you as brown yeah i don't I think of you as taupe i don't think of you to, to i would com- never think about <laughs> you um we got chat lighting up already um, already we haven't even um, talked about anything i yet. know bream stash Tell is them just to saying, shut the fuck up yeah First off, chat, shut the fuck up. And Dreamstash <laughs> says, Sean is back. Hallelujah. We can all clap. We can all sing. We can all shout. Um, but don't, because you don't want to peek the mics more than I already do. Um, and you don't want to wake up the hibernating zombies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Um, and Chad is listing things. Okay, I'm going to say it. Chad just said, Tignatara rules, Crystalia drools. I'm so glad... Oh, I was reading it like a poem. I'm so glad they <laughs> reshot those scenes with her and removed him. But I would like to see a side-by-side comparison of their performances just so we can all dunk on Dalia for a second. <laughs> I yeah. will say it felt like all of the lines were written for him and then yes. her trying to deliver them made no sense that's what i will say early on i was like um, wait a minute this is definitely this wasn't. may be just snyder syndrome <laughs> but i didn't really like tig that much either with all due respect to the great chad Ryden. um i don't i don't know if i liked anybody 
I'm, I can't get into can't get the into negatives this. yet. I, and I have to say, I love Tig. I like her stand up a lot. Yes. And I think I've seen her in so many good things. But it was a weird. Yeah. I don't know if anybody would have been good in this role because every other role, <laughs> but we'll, we'll just get into it. But yes. first, I want to take a break and let's talk about food we have had <gasps> this week in our <gasps> new segment. <laughs> What food did you have this week? Bam, 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 bam. What food Sean. did you have this week? <laughs> um, you go first, because I didn't know this was a segment. Okay. Well, I want to bring up a food item that um, I don't think we've brought it up. Me and Sean have gone to Sonic <gasps> a few times together. <gasps> and what Sonic taught me about was the Oreo cheesecake shake blast whatever. Yes. We get there. <laughs> We order it, and the lady on the intercom says, we can't do that. And mm -hmm. I was like, but Sean's ordered it. And so we, and we did this twice. We did do this twice. <laughs> we were trying to, now, we, you are a, server, a former service industry professional. Yes, yes. I'm a current service industry <laughs> professional. So we know not to be shitty. Yes, exactly. And especially not to people at Sonic, because they, I think... I think it costs them more to go to work <laughs> than they make being at work. Yeah. They're they're losing money by simply going to work. So we just try to not fuck with them. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> they absolutely can make it. Yes. <laughs> it's not a mystery. <laughs> it's not hard to make. Just you just put Oreos in it. Scoop them, put them in. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Michael... Just for the listeners, yes. describe how you would make a uh, Oreo <laughs> cheesecake blast. Okay, okay. So you do it like a regular cheesecake blast, right? All okay. the same steps. Nothing crazy. Just put yeah. the stuff in, throw some cheesecake bites. Mm -hmm. Then at the – okay, you can do this a couple ways, actually. There's many options. You could, <laughs> before you fill it all the way up, dump some Oreos in, <laughs> mix it up. Uh -huh. Crushed up Oreos, not whole Oreos. Now that no. wouldn't work. Um, no. <laughs> and then fill it up the rest, or even just sprinkle them on at the end. I don't really care. <laughs> That'd be fine too. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. So it's very possible. And the at the end of the day, we arrived on our third visit <laughs> and yes. ordered on the Sonic app. Yeah, an Oreo <laughs> cheesecake blast shake, whatever. Yes. And it arrived at our door, no problem. So, yeah, and it was. It is possible. It, it is, absolutely is possible. And it's delectable. And this is the, the <laughs> other good thing about the app that I kind of hate about the app, but you can just get you can get whatever the hell you want in there. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing to go. Uh, can I have an Oreo cheesecake blast with Oreos and a nope then and that then? But then you hit the buttons, and I tip well, so it, it's not. It's not like they have no reason to be mad at me. Yeah. I tip about what they make per hour. Mm -hmm. That's pretty <laughs> Every good. Every time I yeah. go there, which is almost nothing, but yeah. still pretty nice but of pretty me no, yeah. to double their hourly wage. That's great. <laughs> pretty kind. That's I never thought about it like that. That's pretty cool. That's my money. That is also my food wow. uh, for the week. I love is it. the Oreo cheesecake blast. Ugh. There's little, I'd say maybe centimeter square cubes yeah. of uh, cheesecake in there and they're just fucking Ugh, good. They're so good and sometimes some of them get they fall down deeper into it yeah. and you're like oh I'm all out of cheesecake and then you dig in and you go oh, oh, there's another one in there and you eat it. <laughs> another bite just for me. Just uh, for me. Just for me. Okay so Chad Ryden says I loved her in this and was delighted. And that's okay. great. And speaking of things that delighted us, what time is it, Sean? Uh, I believe it's Euro time, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. I baby. need a Euro. I'm okay. holding on to that's a Euro a till I get another bite. <laughs> us, we in this episode are like the film Army of the Dead because we just keep doing needle drops. Yes. Actually, we're not there yet, so I can't <laughs> talk about that yet. We have to talk about the good things. Yes. And I'll say the good thing. Okay. There is one thing. This is the only one, but there is one single good thing about this movie, and that is this, the concept. Mm. I like this concept it's a fun. lot. It is, hey, we're doing a heist, and there's zombies. Yeah, cool. It's That's new. it. I, I That's like the whole it. concept, and I, I like it. 
Same. They did not get to the movie I wanted to see when I pictured in my head yeah. zombie movie with a heist movie. Because it doesn't have much of the scares of a zo- Okay, I'm being negative again. Sorry. <laughs> the concept is great. Two thumbs up for the concept. Zombie movie, heist movie. There should be more heist movies. There should be less zombie movies, but that's that's for slightly later in the show. <laughs> two thumbs up, two pinkies up. Mahalo, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Delikalikimaka. Yeah. Is the island way or whatever yep. the fuck he said. Um, wow. No offense. <laughs> no offense to our spam loving Hawaiian friends. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know much about the history of that song. I don't know if it's, you know. It's okay. I don't know if we're. If, what do you mean? Is that, is that is it canceled? Yeah, is that song canceled? Who knows? But what isn't canceled is, is this is you're gonna be impressed. I'm just gonna tell you, I have one, two, three, four, five, fucking euros in this. Oh picture. shit! Five. Okay. I was expecting to turn it off. 10 minutes in and just pretend that I watched the rest of it. I wanted to. <laughs> but go on. <laughs> I did like in the opening montage, not the opening montage, but in the opening montage, the bar and a lot of these are that I'm enjoying them, like the ideas of them, maybe not the execution, just the whatever. Um, the parachute guy, <laughs> he's yes. like falling, but he's like shooting zombies as he's falling. And I just, yeah. like, I haven't seen that imagery. And I thought that was a really funny and like good moment. I was like, oh, that's yes. crazy. And I like the blood like spraying on the, the, the parachute. I was like, that's yes. pretty nice. I like the idea <laughs> that he, <laughs> he was just sacrificed essentially. There's no good way yeah. to get parachuted into a crowd of zombies. <laughs> yeah. There's no way you'll survive. No, because <laughs> you don't have a footing. Nothing. Yeah, you're just you're just going straight into them. Ooh. There's a sea of them, <laughs> and they're gonna eat your feet. Yeah, they're gonna eat your feet. Yeah, feet first. Oof. Yeah. Yikes. Ooh, it would suck to have your feet eaten. Ugh, I would not want that to happen. Don't. Hey, if, if you're listening, <laughs> um, cannibals or people who are in the future be zombies. Mm-hmm. In the post cut when there's a new weird zombie yes. COVID Perfect. variant. Can't wait. Please don't eat my feet. <laughs> please. Please. Just I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what the best way to get eaten is. I'll probably just kill myself. Yeah. But don't eat my feet. <laughs> Ooh, rats Too would be my bad. concern. Bream Sash says rats. Rats would be rough. Oh, and, rats would be bad. Okay, they should have explored rats. more. Yeah, more animals. It's like okay, if a tiger, then that means every animal. Then why aren't all the birds that frequented Las Vegas wouldn't they have yeah. spread it across? Whatever, mm-hmm. we're getting into crazy territory. There's a horse. I remember there's a zombie horse. <laughs> that a horse. Zombie king rides on. <laughs> zombie king. Yes. The tiger king. Zombie uh, king. Horse king. Um, well, this is good. this is going to be an off balance episode because I have many more years, and you have <laughs> just keep dropping positivity. I like it. Okay, I like positivity, even though I, in this case, can't participate. <laughs> <laughs> even That's though great. for this movie, I couldn't possibly I, participate. <laughs> it's much like when people like movies I don't like. Good. I'm happy that you are enjoying it. Yeah, it just doesn't bring me anything at no. all. So no. <laughs> that's fine. Um, good for you. But the um, okay, here's I'm just gonna list them off. There's yeah, a part drop them on me where Dieter, the um, vault scientist, I don't who know is, who is likable. Yeah, he's likable. Some yeah. of his lines suck. Um, yeah. but he is uh, he's a, he's a frail man um, mm-hmm. compared to these hulks yeah. of action huge Um, man yeah (laughs) and he is like i think it's in the part where they're like like they're going through all they go into that room where all the zombies are hibernating or whatever and he turns and there's like a light he sees a zombie because he puts his light on one and then he lets Mm -hmm. out like a high-pitched scream and that kind of thing is always a nice moment for me i was like oh that was a good like little funny thing (laughs) like that was a nice one they overplayed it. They do it like a few times. Yes. Um, I like the dumbness of the philosophy yes. thing where he, get, where Dieter's like, if I open it, it will be death or rebirth. 
And then the I don't know anyone's name, so I'm just gonna say the black guy. The black guy. The black guy <laughs> whose name is I've seen him in something. Is it Vandero? I don't know what that even well Vandero. I don't even know how to pronounce it even looking at it. <laughs> V-A-N-D-E-R-O-H-E. Vandero. Vanderoa? Vanderoa. I don't know. He but he just goes, That's heavy, brother, but I dig it. And I liked how stupid that was. Yeah, I was like, "That's a really, that's really stupid." Um, hey, man, yeah, I'm a master's, de- I have a master's degree. I don't know if you remember early yeah, in the, earlier, but I have a master's degree in philosophy, so I really get into this heavy of, shit like yeah. that, man. Um, let's see. Uh, there's a part where um, I don't remember, again, no names, but like YouTuber, zombie hunter guy. Oh, I like him. That yeah. guy's name is Guzman. Guzman, yeah, he throws a uh, grenade down a hall and then you just see it flash and then you see guts shoot out like there were a couple of bits in it where i was like okay that was nicely executed that was fun yeah um oh there's a really this is not meant to be funny but i yeah. died laughing <laughs> when um oh what i don't even know how it happens it's when the the zombie king is coming towards the daughter at the end like he's running down the hall yeah. and uh What's his name? Um, Batista oh, comes Dave out. Batista, yeah. He he goes out. And he he like shoots like a grenade or something, yeah. and it like blows <laughs> up and it like shoots the zombie king like sideways. And I just yeah. died laughing. So that was just yeah. a great moment for me personally. Yes, I I want to <laughs> say before you go on, I actually have a sort of positive, a pseudo positive. <gasps> um, the character of Guzman, mm. I like him, and also I kind of want. A separate movie. I I never want an extended universe, and I don't really want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> but I would kind of rather watch a movie about his like gamification of murder. Yeah. I mean, he's killing zombies, but like it's interesting that he is like his. It would be an interesting comment on how weird and fucking fucked up like YouTube and yeah. streaming is. Yeah. Like especially since there's like you know, actual mass murderers who are streaming in themselves doing it. It would be interesting to see a zombie movie of that guy going on his daily yeah. shootout and doing what he does. Because I like the whole, he's having fun killing zombies and going, yeah, yeah, I got exactly. him. <laughs> double, double kill. Hell yeah. I love it. I think, yeah. I think that was a, that was another kind of like the zombie heist, like interesting Yes. concept like okay that would that probably would happen if there yeah, was an absolutely app, like would people happen, would be yes. filming and stuff but let's go to the chat and if you have any euros or low mains in the show please let us know drop them but chad ryden said the zombie tiger chewing that person's head off which i did like that was pretty yes. gruesome and good that um, was the um what was his name oh he he's like the security guy yeah this is uh... <laughs> No clue. Garrett Dillahunt. Dillahunt. Who plays... he... <laughs> His name is Garrett Dillahunt. Mm-hmm. And this guy, unfortunately, he plays a bad guy so often yeah. that you, the moment you see him on screen, you go, oh, well, He's... that guy's going to be a bad guy. Yeah, it's not. That guy's definitely a bad guy. And it's not even hidden from the main, the main characters seem to know it. And Yeah. But not do anything about it. No, <laughs> no. Let's let them have free reign. Yeah, let's it know. potentially screw us over like four or five different times. Yeah, let's witness it in action and then do nothing. Yeah, um, what are we gonna do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, Chad also said that he liked when the main guy just found love and then she immediately died. Yes, which I thought it was a. I mean, bold move. I did not expect that. I was like, yes. oh, fuck. <laughs> she, yep, she's dead. It is kind of uh, like a combination uh, Euro low main for me yeah. That when that lady gets killed <laughs> because a zombie like grabs her head yeah. and does a twisty and twists it all the way around. And then there's like a little pating yeah. as like her clavicle or something like pokes out of her neck. Yeah. There's just like a little ping <laughs> as it just comes out of her neck. Yeah. It's not a ping, but it is... It feels like a ping. It feels like... And it's so silly. Yeah. That he's like, well, I guess maybe we should be in love. I'm big. <laughs> and you're small. And wouldn't that be great to be in love? And he just goes, break. Ba-ding! Ba-ding! I like it. Yeah. I will say, well, we'll get to it later. But. Yeah. Um, We're not there yet. But I think that's all the years I had for the now, Stitcher. 
<laughs> that means that we are there yet. We yeah. said we weren't there yet, but in fact we are. We are at the low main, low man. Let's talk shit. I've got like a hundred, so here we go. Um, one, uh, very early on when they're in the the really necessary mm -hmm. um, part where the military drops <laughs> some shit. Yeah. Um, there's some two, our two army dudes are getting scared and they're running away. Mm -hmm. And one goes, it's hunting us. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. I mean, this, <sighs> this is a thing I sort of think of as like Nolan syndrome. Yeah. Like this is a thing that Christopher Nolan does where he just, characters just say out loud what is happening oh my gosh yeah but this this is like really bad nolan syndrome where it's just like of course yes that's what the scene is <laughs> yes yeah we didn't we don't to... and also there's so much shit in this movie where it's like well just this is a movie not a radio play yeah just let it happen <laughs> just we know the zombie is hunting. I mean, even if we don't know that it's hunting them, yeah. we know it's somewhere and we're waiting for them to get killed. Yes. We don't need some guy to go, it's, it's hunting, hunting us. us. Yeah, that is like a bad trailer line or something. Yes. It's like, oh, no. Yeah, I totally agree with that, Lomain. The predator has become the prey. <laughs> Wait, no, the prey has become the predator. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know. The guy in the box has become the guy who is a hunt. It's hunt, hunting it's us. It's hunting us. <laughs> um, I you will, go now. I will say, from, say it. from the get-go, yes. the dialogue is atrocious. It's I was sucks. like, holy hell. And the deliveries, which, I mean, fa to be fair, reading that, I don't know what you could do, but it was just like, yeah. these people are not soldiers, one. <laughs> they are not convincing in any way. No. What the fuck are they talking about? Who no. gives a shit? Like, it was just so, so many layers of just like, huh? I I was really checked out, like, early. I was like, this yes. is not going to be good. And, okay, here's, okay, I'm just going to say it right now. My thesis on Snyder Films. Yeah. They look great. But no substance. Just like not. It's just like nothing. It's like it's pretty, but it's like. But yeah. It's just like empty. Anyways, that's all I'll say about that. Michael, mm -hmm. this is gonna be our rare disagreement. Say it, man. Um, uh, this is my this is my top low main. I don't know why I didn't start with my top low main. My top. Uh, there, now it's basically anything Zack Snyder does in this movie is bad. <laughs> so the writing, the directing, and. Uh, but also, he was the director of photography. Oh, wow. And I think he fucking blew it. <gasps> now, it sometimes looks pretty. Ooh. I will be honest. I mm -hmm. think it sometimes looks pretty. But in almost every scene, there's like this super shallow focus. Yeah. That I just fucking hate. It's like someone who saw something that was like, he saw he went to the Bell Court or something, like an indie theater and yeah. was like, okay, they do that a lot in like, cool move like in those types of movies i'm gonna do that in everything but it'll be action <laughs> like, every single <laughs> shot but it's it's so weird because at some point it's like well i don't think he's in focus most of the movie <laughs> like and it's and it's weird it is just like it's like anti-cinematic because there's some things where like two people the blocking is weird. Yeah. There's like two people who are standing and one person is like <laughs> just a foot away, not that far away, but is completely out of focus <laughs> yeah. and is talking it, like they're having a conversation, but is just completely out of focus. Yeah. Hey, I'm talking, but you can't see my face, but you can guess because you know who the characters are and you know the shape of my body. But to be fair, it would not matter what no. you could see. Them it not. wouldn't. That's true. It wouldn't matter. It was just like, at some point, it was just like, why is everything out of focus? It's just a weird. Out of I focus. mean, it's, or like it's have just, a sun sunbeam comes over someone's shoulder. Yes. It's like the Joker at the end of the Justice League. There were so many scenes that looked exactly like those shots. I was like, yes, is, I don't know. Also, Broobs, a uh, good friend of mine and mod for my channel. Oh, they said Snyder shoots on iPhone. Now, if that's true. That's a feat. I don't think that's true. <laughs> it just looks that bad. Yeah. Actually, I don't think you can you even get that weird <laughs> fucking focus on iPhone? I yeah, he's kidding. We we know we know iPhone three. That's what he's He's got an iPhone three, <laughs> yeah. maybe so. 
<laughs> Maybe he's got one of those alo clips. Ooh. And he's and he's rack focusing on the alo clip. Yeah. Just tiny little <laughs> rack Hello. focus. Goodbye. Let me make sure that uh, everybody is out of focus. Even the person who's supposed to be in focus has like a real soft focus yes, for some please. reason. I got That's my low main wow. of all. Just because it pissed me off. At some point I was like, well, just nobody's ever going to be in focus in this fucking movie. And that is, I mean, not essential You're like, this, to enjoyment of a movie. This movie just needed focus. And people are like, yes. yeah, it really did. And you're like, no, no, I mean like. <laughs> I mean literal. <laughs> It is actually a metaphor for everything else in the fucking movie. It's like, why is there so much shit happening? This is just a zombie movie. Just make a fucking zombie movie, yeah. you dummy. Focus. <laughs> yeah, you could just yell focus and it and it means everything. Yeah, it means In so any fun. way you can interpret the word focus. Yeah. Just focus, Zach. Just focus. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Okay. I got like a hundred others, Me but please, too. you go. I, well, first I'm going to do Chad Ryden's. He's yes. Resident Kill Donkey. This is in every zombie show, but they stab zombies through the top of the head like it's a watermelon and not a yes. thick skull. That would be extremely difficult to jam a knife through. And I agree. And yes. the prime example is in Dave. Dave? Is that his name? Dave? But Dave? That's not his name, is it? What? Dave Batista? Dave and Busters? Dave and Batista? <laughs> What's his real name? It is Dave oh, Batista. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Dave Batista? That couldn't be it. <laughs> David? <laughs> um, he, it's in his little flashback where he had to kill the yes. mom, I guess. I have oh. no clue. Um, but he literally just, it looks like he just like touches her head and it just yeah. goes. I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It's hard to, I mean, I guess part of it is like everything's a fake knife now. Yeah, everything's true. a fake gun. It's hard to pretend that you're stabbing someone through the head, but. It's not hard for me. No. I guess, yeah, a real actor can do it, but trash like Dave Bautista can't do it. That is, thank you for bringing up one of my other low mains, uh -oh. that scene, which, I mean, it, it does the thing that Zack Snyder always does, where in emotional moments, it slows everything down, but it's so ridiculous that you cannot possibly take it seriously. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't. There's, he's killing his wife, and it's just like, no! <laughs> and his daughter's like, no! <laughs> Don't kill my mom, please! <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Slow-mo, sad, is you got to do it. it just right or it looks so stupid. <laughs> this has always been my theory of slow-mo is mm -hmm. slow-mo, <laughs> if there's no sound, is beautiful. Yeah. And if there's sound, it's stupid. It's shitty, yeah. <laughs> First, if you slow down, I mean, it can be used to good effect for comedy or just to be weird. Yes, yeah. Like, it's, I don't know, Tarantino loves to make <laughs> it do a really weird version of it where people are just like, you're gonna yeah. <laughs> do the he loves that but for it's, some reason. it's comedic though i yes. feel like in his stuff absolutely but for slow it... i mean it can't be dramatic no more at all it's too funny no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like so many people have made fun of that thing yeah. that you can no longer do <laughs> please don't, don't turn into do. a zombie my wife i love you <laughs> It like, what if it like slowly sped back up? Don't yeah, turn that... into a zombie. I love you. <laughs> it's it really bad. Oh no, I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so Broob said, "Question: Has Mampy stabbed someone in the head before?" <laughs> and uh, answer. Uh, I think that's one of those things that I'm not at liberty to disclose. Yes. But yeah, yeah. he did it. <laughs> He did it, and it was a. I can say it was not as easy as. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it was consensual. Consensual. <laughs> it was consensual. We both uh, went. <laughs> yeah, the three, guy was. Babe. The guy was like, "Hey, I want you to stab me in the head, dude. <laughs> if you, the true crime fans out there, mm -hmm. just look for a person who'd been an unsolved crime where people have been stabbed in the top of the head. <laughs> all of them were committed by Michael. All of them." And take them to jail. If they say that they aren't, that was that's false information, and yes, they should be arrested for putting that out. Thank you. Along with me, 
Thank you. Um, you should be arrested too. Thank you. Broob said Sean doing slow mo sounds like Gal Gadot's acting. <laughs> thank you. That's pretty good. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, we better blow up Palestine. <laughs> Gal, she has lost it. She's gone. Okay, I have not it's even not done one. <laughs> Real low. Tell the chat to stop because you yeah, gotta say they're something. They're going off. Um, I did not like the easy peasy Japanesey thing. I thought no. that was really bad. Even though it's a Japanese guy saying it, just was stupid. I was like, what? Why would he? It doesn't fit. The... I hate these like cutesy things they put in these like action. Like Marvel does it all the fucking time. It's just like, yeah, just stop. Like why? They don't. Why would this rich billionaire be like? Easy peasy. It's like so stupid. I don't know. Stuff like that is just dumb. I hate. Especially when it's. Yeah. I mean, he seems like, at least within the character, mm -hmm. a pretty westernized Japanese dude. Yeah, yeah. It's not like he is wearing a kimono or some shit. Like yeah. he's wearing a suit and shit. But at the same time, he's still got an accent. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would even know that phrase. Yeah, it's a really weird reference. Who would he meet? <laughs> As a Japanese billionaire who's using the phrase "easy peasy," Japanesey. Uh, Nobody. No. Yeah. Exactly. Is he? Maybe his daughter's sending him some meme or something. Yeah. I don't know. As Fuck. my daughter's meme said. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I remember what my daughter's meme said, and it struck me as a humorous thing for a Japanese person to yeah. say. And I am that Japanese person. Easy so peasy. So weird. Anyways, okay, Japanese. give me one of yours. Okay, <laughs> they have to hire a safe cracker. <laughs> Say that sounds so funny, like a safe cracker. It's like, a, it's a, cracker. yeah, they have to hire a. Oh man, I, a white. I accidentally <laughs> swiped up and missed like fifteen different things, but okay, they have to hire a safe cracker mm -hmm. for a a safe that is owned by the Japanese guy, right? Am I stupid in make in thinking this? He knows the combination. He must know the combination, right? It's a completely worthless character. Yeah, it's a it's a character only in conception. It's a character that should not exist. Yeah, because there's no reason to crack a safe it, that if you own it. It that's what I was thinking. I was like, what? This does unless he. Why would you? Is he just storing his money at some casino? Does this happen? I don't know. Maybe so. Maybe he doesn't own the casino for some reason. Uh, yeah. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> it's a movie. Yeah. He's rich. He should. Um, also, they just want to have a safe cracker. Yeah. I mean, safe, I guess that is all it is. <laughs> safe white they want cracker. A very safe, cracker. extremely white because he's German. Yeah. Cracker. Vice. He's sehr Vice. Vice drop more negativity. Let's keep going okay. in on this. One, oh, we oh we're gonna be here all night. Um, Tig has a scene. God bless her. Love you, Tig. <laughs> but I absolutely. If you're, hey, I can. St I'll still still take over your Twitter anytime yeah. you want. Anytime. You <laughs> um, but she starts explaining the plot Ooh. to all of the characters, and within earshot, she's like saying. Don't you think that security guard guy, like, yes. shouldn't he be on the low end? Like, shouldn't we not worry about him? Because he's probably going to double cross. Like, she literally explains, like, this whole plot point. I was like, yes, we don't need this in any way. And no. he can hear you. Like, there's yes. no world where he can't hear you. It's, like, supposed to be meta, I think. I but guess. it just doesn't work, it really. It's really poorly executed. And it's not fun. It's not fun. It's supposed to be funny, but it isn't. Yeah. I fucking fuck. Uh, okay, another here's another shitty thing. There's a horrible Viva Las Vegas cover oh. during the opening credits. Just a miserable one, and really the entire movie is is plagued by needle drop syndrome. Just horrible yes. covers of songs that I don't even really like that much in the first place. Yeah. Most of them are just songs I don't like covered to be ten thousand times worse. But. In our wonderful remake, where we we remake this, and it would be easy to do, um, you use the Dead Kennedys version of Viva Las Vegas. Oh, wow. It's, it's a crass version of the song. It's a Ooh. lot faster. You don't have the endless Zack Snyder opening credits. It's just like a two and a half minutes. <laughs> I love it. Fast. 
And, oh, I love it. And it's much better. Or just use the Elvis version. The Elvis version is good, or the the Dead Kennedys version is good. That's Either it. do like very completely uh, straight faced Elvis version, <laughs> or do like a really punked up version by Ugh. Dead Kennedys. Instantly Either improve the movie much better. I we've talked about this on the podcast before, but I absolutely detest the slow versions oh, of popular songs God. it's just like or even even worse it's like it's when things are already a slow song and then they make it even like the what was that what a wonderful world and then oh, it was like yes. i see yes true it's like okay stop like what is this this is a weird this is another syndrome <laughs> it's just like yes something's going on in people's heads like like that's super needle drop yeah. syndrome. like <laughs> most movies suffer from just regular needle drop syndrome where there always has to be a song to punctuate every moment yeah. <laughs> rather than just like paying the guy who writes music for the movie to do his job exactly. or his or her job the, instead they go ah uh, well i don't know quentin tarantino just does endless songs what if we just did endless songs <laughs> yeah, why not? except they're not cool songs they're like just really obvious songs what if we just did really obvious songs like yeah I I don't know who Richard Cheese is, but Chad Ryden said I will not have you bad mouthing Richard Cheese. Richard Cheese, he does. <laughs> he's just like a kind of a funny lounge act. Mm. Uh, he does like lounge covers of. It's usually not lounge covers <laughs> of particularly loungy songs like yeah. in Las Vegas. Usually it's <laughs> lounge covers of like. It's more subversive in general. This is oh. probably the worst Richard Cheese song. Um, so they should have even a different Richard G Cheese song would have been fine. Damn. Okay, speaking of cheese, <gasps> Cheeseburger Man Dave Bautista, um, <laughs> it, to show that he has a mind, they always have to prove that everyone has a mind. Um, he has a chess set in his house for some fucking reason. Yeah, just like the most generic. Oh well, yes, he actually is pretty great at. Um, he's thinking three steps ahead. Uh, duh. <laughs> Um, that's what Zack Snyder was saying in the, so in the writing room. Bad for like people like that who get typecast as just like the like dumb beefy. Because I'm sure yeah. he's a very intelligent person, but it's just yeah. like it is kind of. I mean, I shouldn't. Why am I feeling bad? He made however many tons of money on this. Who gives a shit? <laughs> he made tons of movie on money on this. Yeah, he gets to do like he's gonna be in. Bla he was in Blade Runner 2049. Yep. He gets to do the dream, which is to be in shitty movies and to be in good movies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you get to make, you know, a couple million on this. Yeah. I mean, and as K Weeb six six six, um, make a wish, he <laughs> said, he said sausage fingers Batista. And that's a cool kind of nickname you get from being that big. Yes. So he's a big boy. <laughs> yeah. He's uh as the kids say, thick with three C's. Yeah, and a K at the end to yes. finish off the word. Thick with three K's. <laughs> three K <laughs> <laughs> Uh what else is bad about this movie, Michael? The South is thick with three K's. <laughs> 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 um, okay, uh some of the effects of course are of my low main. Yeah. I didn't like like the zombie getting smashed, I like the idea of it, but the it just looked horrible. Like the stretching, I was like, "Yeah, this looks like shit." And I know it's a Netflix movie, but it's just like, yeah. Mm, but they yeah. spent time. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> yeah, they spent tons of money on this movie. True, it was. Uh, I I'm mean, afraid to look. I'm always afraid to look at the <laughs> amount of money spent on a movie like this. Oh no! They, they almost always think like they should have just made a movie. About giving money to the poor <laughs> yeah. instead of making this movie. They should have made a documentary about giving <laughs> yeah, money to the poor. And I don't think that even about like really stupid <laughs> movies like yeah. like Avatar, mm -hmm. I don't I don't think they should have made a money about movie about giving money to the poor yeah. instead of Avatar. Because Avatar <laughs> made all its money back times like fifteen or twenty. Yeah. And it was fine. You know, they spent a exactly. bunch of money but they made the money back. And also he he made a movie that had never been made before. Yeah, you know, yeah. You hadn't I hadn't seen that movie. Oh, even if I don't love it, it's just like <laughs> yeah. Broobs asked Avatar: The Last Airbender movie or the Blue People. We're talking about the Blue People. Blue People. <laughs> yeah, not the Shyamalan. They movie. have sex by tangling their hair together and then using their. It's minds. fucking weird. Yeah. It's not a great movie, but <laughs> I I don't think it uh, is as bad as this movie. <laughs> no, no, almost nothing is. Um um, let's see. Um, oh, we finally reached it. <laughs> the, 
the love interest lady who only becomes a love interest suddenly. Like, yes, that's never even. You e- sort of assume she will like, be because sure. she's attractive. Yeah, <laughs> but like you think, well, she's approximately the same age as Dave Bautista, and she's really hot. Yeah, surely. So she eventually, will be the love interest. Her <laughs> name is Anna de la Reguera. Oh, that sounds cool. My R's, I can't. I haven't gotten good at rolling my R's yet. Oh, Reguera. Is that right? I can't even do it. Reguera. Re- Reguera. See, that sounds Reguera. cool. Reguera. Reguera. I can't do it. Um, but yes. While that was a good twist, <laughs> no pun intended. Mm, um, crackety crack. It was executed goofily, and oh. she looked hilarious. Like I yes. started laughing. <laughs> and there's even a cut back to her on the ground that yes. didn't need to be there. She just looks like so funny. I was like this. Yes, so, and Batista's like, oh no, I'm sad. And then they cut to, yeah. oh, looks like I got my neck twisted around. And he's like, oh, I'm sad. That's great. Um, uh, I'm er- I'm a lot earlier in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah yes. Yeah, so this good. is my this is my low main, another low main. Uh, they get into the city. Yes. To begin their uh, trip and their plan. A full hour into the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Since... Which means they could easily mm. cut one hour out of the movie. Easily. I say two. Yeah, they could cut two and a <laughs> half hours out of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, they could. And it would not be that much better of a movie. Because it was the still the rest yeah. of the movie isn't that much better. Exactly. But they would at least cut out all the shit that I don't care about <laughs> and leave... The rest of the shit I don't, don't care. About. Yeah. <laughs> what else is bad about this piece um, of shit movie? Okay, I'm gonna go to the chat. Okay. Um, <laughs> Chad Ryden said, "I don't know. I didn't know zombies could fall in love and have zombie babies, but I hated all of that." Yes. <laughs> and then Kay Weeb actually on the other side said, "I love the zombie, the dead zombie fetus, but unfortunately." Euro time has passed, so we cannot count that. Um, right. <laughs> and Chad Wright said the dead fetus was wonderful, but the whole story was dumb. Yes. The, I don't understand what you hope to do with having I, a sort of smart... So I Okay, maybe I do understand. <laughs> the, the problem with zombie movies yes. is that they are inherently bad. <laughs> There are only like three or four good zombie movies, mm-hmm. and the 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 thing with those is that they were made by really talented filmmakers. Yeah, like the Romero zombie movies are good because Romero is a good movie. He makes yeah. good movies. That's true. The uh, 28, day, 28 Days Later yeah. is good because Danny Boyle is a great director. Yes. Uh, Train to Busan is good because I can't think of that guy's name, but that Korean guy is amazing. Great. Yeah. And otherwise, zombies aren't interesting. Yeah, they're not very interesting. Dracula's interesting yeah. because he's like a, he can talk. Motivation. He has a personality. Um, Jason is interesting because he has a cool mask <laughs> and he uh, he looks cool. Yeah. Same with same with uh, Michael Myers and all the other Fred slashers Flintstone. are kind of yeah. interesting because of that. And there's like a there's a thing where he can hide. And he's got some amount of intelligence. Yes. But just a zombie, a shambling zombie <laughs> yeah. who has no thoughts and just wants to eat is is uninteresting. Yeah, it's not. So yeah. you have to make the characters interesting and you have to care about the characters. Yeah. Otherwise, it will be a shitty movie. <laughs> and that's. And I guess <laughs> Zach was like, that's one of the problems with zombie movies. So I'll make them sort of smart yeah <laughs> he just like kind of went halfway and went uh what if he's kind of like i don't know somebody he's kind of like dracula i guess <laughs> kind of, um, yeah he's like the Something. phantom of the opera or some shit. well i mean it kind of is like in um i forget what years 2000s van helsing the whole plot yes. was dracula's trying to have babies it's yes. very similar. It's like, oh, I'm a zombie trying to have babies. Yeah. Why would you care to have a baby as a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> who, who the fuck knows? Makes zero sense. But I think it's a Snyder, Snyder syndrome <laughs> in this film of like, oh, okay, it's this, but then it's also this. It's yes. a it's a heist movie and a zombie movie, but 
it's a zombie movie, but there's also other types of zombies, which there is also a really stupid thing. Did you notice the robot zombies? What? No. There's a part where they shoot a zombie in the face and it's a robot. And I went, what? What? Like sparks shoot out and it's a metal face. And I was like, wait, what? And then I was talking to my friend about it. It may have been John. And he was like, oh, it's because there's a cartoon prequel or something. And it explains that. And I was like, what? What? Who? I hate shit like that. It's like, just make a movie that's a movie. I don't need a million things it's connected to. Yeah, oh, that stuff's just so dumb. Yeah, okay, we. It is a Terminator zombie. I was like, what? 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 And there were the ones, I think they were all, did you see the ones with glowing eyes? Yes. I think they I were saw. all the robots. I was like, oh. what the fuck is this? Well, then I don't understand that. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. The different kinds of zombies are weird. I kind of <laughs> like the... Even though it's stupid, yeah, I kind of like the hibernating zombies. Yeah, that was a good idea because it's a good it's a good set piece. Like yeah. these zombies don't have any food, so and they know that, so they kind of shut down. Yeah, and they hibernate <laughs> and hope that somebody comes by that they can eat, mm-hmm. and then you have to sneak around. But um, this is one of the things that I didn't like about that scene. I don't want to praise it because I have something negative to say about it. <laughs> um, they put glow. They're putting glow sticks on the floor. And just the way it's lit, just the way the scene is lit, yeah. it just looks bright. <laughs> yeah. No the room mean. looks fucking bright. Yeah. <laughs> so you just go, why are you putting glow sticks down? I can see fucking everything in this room. It's just one of those things where, like, if if Zach had gotten an actual fucking director of photography, he would have said, uh, if you have to put glow sticks down, it should be a dark room. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say an actual fucking dark room. <laughs> like if he had yes. just gotten an actual. Yes, if he had just gotten a, a dark room. <laughs> That's crazy. If he'd gotten something, I something different had happened. I agree. That's one of those like failures where it's just like, yeah, this didn't translate because. Also, <laughs> why would you think that everyone crawled under the arms of zombies? Like. That made no sense. Do you think no. Dave Bautista's giant body was yes. <laughs> It makes no sense. <laughs> it's like, all right. And how did she get that far behind it? Like, it made no sense. It was just like, huh? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. I do like her shootout and oh, her stab yeah. out. It was pretty fun. But what I didn't like. Yes. She, th- you think she's dead. And then she busts out a window and you're like, oh my God, this lady's amazing. Yeah. But she also, another problem with the movie Everyone who wasn't experienced or could shoot or anything can he- headshots, in- yes. endless headshots. And you're like, how? But yes. the lady falls out the window, and her friend who has a machine gun, the zombies are well away from her. Yeah, and he's just like, no, G- get up! It's like sh- shoot them, <laughs> help. He does yeah. nothing, and then just lets her get killed. It's like, and then it's like. Well, I guess I better use my incredible aim to blow up that gas can. <laughs> Which, even that felt goofy. Like, it hit for a second and then blew it. just... just... Zach. Yeah. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> so you just got Snydered. Um, oh, this is another thing about zomb- bad movies. About bad movies. Bad but movies. Bad zombie <laughs> movies, in general, is everybody wears sleeveless shirts. Doesn't fucking make any sense. Oh, yeah, the coyote, who is yeah. an experienced person. Yeah. Nope, no sleeves. Let me just stroll in there. Just it... a t-shirt, no <laughs> sleeves. It doesn't make... I, 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 Every time I watch a zombie movie, mm-hmm. I think, well, okay, if if it's in the early times of the zombie times, yeah. they, they don't know sure. how it works. <laughs> but if it's... I mean, if it's whatever, fucking year, I don't know how long it is. If they know how zombification works, <laughs> yeah. that somehow they have something in their teeth or in their mouth, mouth that turns into a zombie, their spit, who the fuck knows? Yeah. Then just wear long sleeves, wear gloves, wear a thing over your thing, wear a helmet. <laughs> yeah. And they can never turn you into yeah, a zombie. They can never. <laughs> it would be fucking impossible. If you wear even slightly thick shirt, <laughs> you can't get turned into a zombie. It's just fucking, they're See, imbeciles. If you were in this movie explaining that, it would be an endlessly better movie. Like, look, guys. Look, <laughs> wear sleeves. That's the first thing you got to do. Is the thing that you may not realize, uh, new guys who haven't been in the middle of a zombie horde, is they try to bite you. Yeah. 
<laughs> and um, if they can ease very easily bite you on like 15 feet of exposed skin, then it really makes it a lot easier for them. So I'm going to be wearing a helmet. Yeah. I have a neck protector. Yes. Um, I have like a thin chain mail over my fire <laughs> Yes, body. there we go. And they just can't bite through it. They can like crush my hand by like sure. trying to bite it. But it ain't, I ain't going to be a zombie. But I'm not going to turn into a zombie. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I may be crippled or something like that. I'm, I'm not going to be on a private jet at the end of the movie for some reason and then be like, oh, I guess I got bit. That won't happen. <laughs> even though even though everyone else turned Instantly. in a matter of moments. Yeah. And they, that was just never even a possibility in the scenes that we saw you in. <laughs> yes. Sure. As a plot device, I uh, can... <laughs> I don't know, spend hours walking through the desert. A nuclear <laughs> desert. Yeah, yes. I'm sure, I'm fine. <laughs> I'll just wander through nuclear winter. Okay, more bad stuff. No, you got to do one. I've been doing okay, too many. sorry. This is great. I'm loving it. I know this might be a hate fest, but it's just when you make something this rough, it's like, well, we're going we're gonna to point it out. And I'm going all the way back because I forgot about this, and it pissed me the fuck off instantly. <laughs> it is it is the stupid Zack Snyder, like, Oh, but this is kind of artsy. It's so dumb. In the freaking montage of like shooting zombies and stuff, for some reason they cut to cast shots in front of a photo background of with yes. them holding a picture. It was like it felt like the Entertainment Weekly cast shoot was like, yes. well, let's do this, and well, we'll just put it in the movie. Like, yes. Why is this here? It makes no sense. It doesn't anyway, make any yeah. sense. Whatever. Yeah. That pissed me off. I was like, ugh. I'm horrible. ready to keep while we're talking about fake artsy stuff, <laughs> yeah. this is a good good transition into my fake artsy stuff. Um there is the the safecracker character is yes. German. Dita. And the for uh, very it's actually very um lucky because for some reason the safe is named after a Wagner opera. Yeah. Um, so that's actually really, <laughs> really interesting coincidence. Yes. <laughs> um, but it's just one of these things where you can just tell that someone wants to be smart. Yeah. Just like, I wish everyone would think I was smart. <laughs> and you know what makes, and they do this in the fucking John Wick movies all yeah. the time. Fucking mention Tarkovsky Something, yeah. in the John Wick movies, and it's like, why the fuck are you mentioning this? This is not a Tarkovsky movie. Yeah, <laughs> you can mention Buster Keaton all you want because the the through line between Buster Keaton and John Wick is very sure, similar. It makes yeah. perfect sense to me. But the Tarkovsky thing, no. this movie has nothing to do with Tarkovsky. <laughs> yeah, you may like him, but stop mentioning it. It's yeah. fucking annoying. And they do the same thing in this, where it's he mentions Gato Damerung by Wagner, uh -huh. and. It's annoying the first time because you're like, oh, yes, well, um, I know about opera is essentially what that scene is. Yeah. And they make it worse because later, as he's opening the safe and he makes it through, hmm. they do a needle drop. And in the only moment when they should have a needle drop, yeah. they begin to play a piece from the Gajah Damarung, and they should just let it play. Yeah. And he doesn't. He just like has it quietly behind people talking and celebrating, and then eventually pulls it up. Just, pl th just this play is your it. chance to play some really beautiful epic music mm -hmm. as your moment of celebration <laughs> as you're opening this thing and everybody's getting money. Yes, and it's just beautiful, beautiful music. Turn it up. Turn it all the way up. Yes, you turned our fucking uh, zombie <laughs> cover a zombie. Yeah. Oh. The fucking cranberries cover way the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta listen to that shit cranked. Mm -hmm. Turn up the Wagner, even if you know. Of course, he was a horrible anti-Semite, but you know, crank his, it. He made beautiful music. <laughs> crank it anyway. He's he's in the movie, <laughs> despite all that. <laughs> Turn up the fucking music when it is appropriate. Despite all the awful things he did and supported, he hey. was still better than you in this movie. No. Yes. <laughs> Just because he was Hitler's favorite composer doesn't mean he's not better than Zack Snyder. I can't help who likes my stuff, you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe Hitler exactly. likes this podcast. We don't know. Hey. I would, I would welcome, just because they have a much bigger... Uh, 
audience than we do. I would welcome some really horrible people loving this podcast because we need it. Oh, that reminds me. If you like this podcast, please tell a friend. Tell uh, a friend. We're not done with it. I know we're going long, but hey, there's other shit, shit I have to talk about. I got more, too. Okay. Oops, you're um, all canceled now. That's We've been canceled since the day we were born, baby. I don't think it, you can be canceled for mentioning someone was a racist, right? <laughs> I don't I don't. I'm not saying that. I'm so glad that Hitler <laughs> yeah. liked Wagner and then Hitler uh, was inspired <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, do, no. <laughs> to do ultimate evil. No, I'm no. just saying... Wagner was German, of course. Yeah. Every German person is a horrible racist. That's just the way they're built. <laughs> Wait, Gary said they should have replaced him with Tig, and I'm hoping that he's meaning Zack Snyder. <laughs> that would Zack be really Snyder! funny. <laughs> <laughs> she she redirects the yeah. movie. <laughs> okay. They should have replaced every character with Tig. <laughs> yeah, okay, there was a shot where it looked like her body was like floating outside of the scene so they really did just like replace him yes wow that's insane yeah. i mean it's i think it's why they cut to so many singles of her standing next to people yeah it's like i think your shoulder is touching that other person's <laughs> shoulder but somehow you're in a single yeah so i don't know how that's possible but okay that was wild and there's cool. a part they're like talking they're talking to her and they're like something about like man you you've always been a great man or something like that and she's like yeah, yeah i have <laughs> and i was like oh it feels Hell like yeah. they did the scene with the other person and yes. just, anyway um whatever we've we've covered all that um i hated the line when the coyote um is holding the dead zombie queen's head hostage yes. and she goes one more step and i'll blow her head off well more off like, just stop don't yeah do what? And also, is that does that zombie understand English? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess so. maybe. <laughs> That's crazy. Who knows? Also, off what? You're not blowing it off anything. It's yes, <laughs> yeah, it's already off. Yeah. Not more off. <laughs> it's just off. you can no longer blow it off yeah. because it's off. It is off. You can blow it to up to pieces. Pieces, yeah. I blow it. To pieces. I'm gonna blow. <laughs> Her head to pieces. Yeah. I, too, K Weeb, I hated the wood tip cigar tig smokes. I just oh. needlessly there. Yeah. Anyway. I think it's supposed to be one of those, like, yeah, I'm a. I'm Sam Fuller. I'm smoking a cigar. This is some real, real dude shit, but I'm a lady, so it's kind of funny or Something. interesting because I'm doing really old school <laughs> grizzled man arr, arr, arr. Uh, okay I think this is my last one oh nice no there's two more <laughs> no there's three um, okay uh, okay <laughs> let me say the important ones kind of in a row the um, the the black guy what is his name God Vandero his na his name is Vandero um, he has this speech about how maybe they're caught in an infinite loop yeah yeah that i think is supposed to be interesting yeah i really thought they were trying to like say they were gonna twist it into some dumb plot like oh and actually, then they didn't no yeah but that yeah but the other people are clearly them right right I who knows who the fuck knows maybe they're just wearing the same clothes none of it weird. made any sense um at some point the the guy uh who is the head of security mm-hmm the clearly bad guy from <laughs> yeah. the very beginning. Um, he says, like, oh, I'm going to cut off her head, and then I'm going to give it to the Japanese guy, and he's going to make an army of the dead, wink. And yeah. um, it's just one of those things where, and this is like a Joe uh, Bob Briggs saying, um, where, like, the plot is getting in the way of the story. Yeah. Where it's like, this is just useless plot. We don't, we don't need this. Absolutely. It's like, it's and, it, and it's been in so many movies like Jurassic World did it actually yes. the dinosaurs are military dinosaurs it's like what is this like every yeah. movie it keeps doing the same things it's like yeah just, just make stop. it money just have him steal the money <laughs> yeah sure and he I mean if he's gonna be the obvious bad guy have him take the money and that's good and yeah. whatever or maybe there's something secret in the vault that nobody else knows about and he takes Great. that something like that doesn't have to be like Oh, well, actually, they're going to use, and then they're going to be a... Blah, blah. Okay, final thing. Yeah. 
And this is one of the worst things, <laughs> and also kind of one of the saddest things about it, uh -oh. is like the father-daughter <laughs> thing fucking bums me out because of Zack Snyder's daughter. Like, I think everybody knows this, but Zack oh, Snyder's daughter yeah. committed suicide. I forgot about that. Super sad, yeah. like one of the main reasons he didn't finish Justice League. Dang. But watching him kind of deal with that shit in this movie yeah. is fucking weird because it doesn't work in the movie. And it also makes me feel bad that it doesn't work. Yeah. And it bums me out that it didn't work. Like, I think, like, okay, clearly he's got some shit that he's working through. Mm -hmm. Like, all of the Justice League thing is parents and children, yeah, shit with yeah. parents and children having trouble. And this is all, like, dad and daughter having trouble. And it makes me so sad. Yeah. But it also, I go, like, I don't care. I don't even care. Within the, like, within the realm of the movie, I don't fucking care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. As but... much as you're like, you can tell that he's fucking bleeding out. Like, he's like, I'm, I, this is my chance to get it out or some shit. And you can tell he's just like, I can finally, like, try in my yeah. own way to deal with this horrible, horrible thing that happened to me. But it doesn't work. It's no, like, yeah. such a fucking bummer that it doesn't work. And you just go, oh my God. It's so painful. It really is. It's it's I, even brutal to talk about because it's just so sad. Yeah, I hadn't made that connection. That is crazy. I'm I'm sorry Ooh. that I brought it up because no. like about halfway through the movie I realized it and I was like, Man, I I definitely there's no way I'm gonna be able to enjoy the rest of this movie because exactly. it's there's so clearly just like a ah oh, fuck. I'm so sad. But I'm trying to make a fun movie. Yep. <laughs> I'm trying to make a silly fun movie, but also in the fun. end, there's going to be some daddy daughter stuff. Yeah. That moves him. I'm sure that when he was writing it, he was like, well, this is powerful. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let the daughter live. Like, even that probably was like a, oh shit, that that is po powerful and meaningful yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah. And it's still. I just fucking hate it. It like makes me mad that I hate it. I know it's a it's a tricky web, and I yeah. I mean, the thing I was most angry about, I was just like, this whole movie just felt pointless. Like, I, yes, you can pull that off where it was like, okay, everything was futile, whatever, lesson learned, but it just yes. didn't work. And it was just like all the effort was just stupid. And then him yes. being like, I still have this one stack of cat. It just it just felt so pointless. I was like. What? And I was like, and then again, I was like, well, she's dead. She's in a nuclear area. Like, I'm yes. sure she's dead. I'm sorry. And the lady she went in t to save is dead. She died. I was like, this whole thing was just pointless. Like, I, I don't get, I yes. don't know. I just, it fell apart. I was like, what? I mean, maybe, maybe that is all part of the, I'm dealing with some heavy maybe, shit. Yeah. And life is fucking meaningless. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But it's not, it's weird because it's like, a little too jokey. Yeah. It's not even, or it's, or maybe not depressing enough. Like, yeah. it doesn't feel depressing. <laughs> yeah. But really, you just kind of go, okay, well, I guess there's gonna <laughs> be more zombies. I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gary said this was Snyder's Tears in Heaven, but I think it was more Tears in Hell um, for, <laughs> no, <laughs> for me. Um, it's true, though. That's what it is. I yeah. mean, I don't know if he thought of it that way. Yeah. But it just so clearly is. It's painful. Yeah. And then uh, Chad said they, they overtly said something about it in, in the dialogue, like, don't work out daddy issues by doing a heist together, which is yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's like, why are they? <laughs> it's just they spell out everything way too much. And he's like. It, maybe it's a little too like on the sleeve like of wearing all my emotions like this is just what it is it's like eh, it just doesn't that really... is a big S snyder thing he's a big <laughs> melodrama dude yeah. he loves wearing the emotions on the sleeve even though even though it's like a you know most of them are about like all powerful gods fighting each other yeah they're still like oh my dad my family my dad you know there's like always something about yeah family something yeah and shit <laughs> Also, he obviously cares about that. Kind yeah, of. which great. That's fine. Yes. And you can pull it off well, but you can also really not pull it off in yeah. any way. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised that like now I'm like reappraising Justice League based on this and I go, well, I mean, at least Justice League was not this. Yeah, but the length. Yes. Um, 
it makes me think I would probably watch this over it. Yeah. Because that link killed me. I was like, woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Um, it should have been an hour and a half. Hour and a half, great. In and out, it, we get it. It should have been an hour and a half. None of you can cut almost all of the backstories. Just, just yes, who cares? Make it, yeah. Make a movie. Ugh. Just make, just make like a fucking exploitation movie. Yeah, we did. Uh, there's no daughter. Yeah, there's no there's daughter. Just a, there's just a grizzled team of veterans and one silly guy. Yeah, and he, keep the German guy. He's great. Um, keep these grizzled, grizzled veterans. Mm-hmm. Um. You don't even have to do any flashbacks to them going the thing. You just start from the moment um, they are gathering people. Yeah. Dave's like, we got a thing. We got a thing. And then the Japanese guy goes, hey, you got to go do this thing. Mm-hmm. And then they go in, they do that thing. Exactly. There's no smart zombies. They're just dumb zombies. And they have to sneak around. And there aren't a ton of zombies. So it's like you never know where they'll be. Yeah. And then they go in. And... <laughs> Uh, they have to crack the safe and maybe the safe is a little louder than you would expect it to be so there's like some as they're opening it it goes crackety crack and then they're like oh shit and then the zombies are coming exactly, yeah. and then they have to get to the roof <laughs> and then they get out fine but maybe it crashes for some reason or Who somebody knows? got bit and they didn't realize it and then they he bites somebody and then they go down whatever whatever just yeah <laughs> make it in an hour and a half I think that would have been way better. <laughs> Fulfill the concept. Yes, yeah, so you don't need a million other ideas about no. zombie kings and blah blah blah. It's like why is there a fucking zombie he's king? He's got he's like poisoned after doing one superhero movie. He's like, Well I've gotta make it like a superhero like everything's gotta be something it's like not just No. Make a zombie it's just, it was just zombies. It's fine. <laughs> I think I think we're out of net well, I think I think at this point is it is beating a dead horse. Yeah, we've uh, literally an undead horse. Yes, beating an undead horse, a zombie horse. Yeah. Um. So we have to say this one for next week, because it will be on HBO Max and in theaters. Mm-hmm. So wherever you want to watch it, you can watch it. Um. We are watching The Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It, mm-hmm. which I will say, unless something changes, the name will be my low man. Yeah. Because it's a little weird, name. jokey. For a movie about the actual devil, yeah, controlling people, <laughs> it's a weird, yeah, the actual most evil being, yeah, controlling people to be caught. The devil made me, me do it. it. <laughs> it's a bit much. So, but watch that movie because it'll probably be fun mm-hmm. on your HBO Max, or if you're feeling comfortable, go to the theater. That's right. Uh, also, if you're on your social medias, head over to Twitter to at Ford Food Court Cast and mm-hmm. retweet every single tweet we tweet. Please. I said tweet too many times tweet, tweet, tweet. in one sentence, but that doesn't mean I'm not a special boy. Yeah. Uh, go over to Instagram to at Food Court Movie Podcast mm-hmm. and hit the heart button on all of ours. Heart us. And hit the little, um, it's like an airplane or something. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and put the airplane into your stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, do that. Uh, give us a five star review on or the most stars on whatever you're listening on your favorite podcast app. Yes, please. And. Please, I know I said this in the middle, but I want to say it at the end. Tell a friend. Yes. We don't have a budget for spreading the news. (laughs) The only way that the news spreads is purely organically. Yes, please. So just tell a friend that you love listening to us talk about Zack Snyder (laughs) of all things. Um, (laughs) I don't know why you would, but it's very kind of you if you do. Thank you. And tell your favorite friends. Michael, uh-huh. any parting words for the Kill Donkeys? I just wanted to say thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for uh, putting up with us over all these years. And yes. we are still having a blast. And hopefully yes. next time there'll be more lo- uh, more Euros than Loma yeah. Main. I, too, hope that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because we're talking about food, I might as well say on behalf of Michael Hampton mm-hmm. and from me, Sean Parrott, bon appetit. <laughs>